Hey, hey, welcome, welcome to the outdoor adventures, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed, we are outside. As you guys can see, we are uh, cooking us a very nice stew here today. I'm at home, and uh, let me see if I can flip you guys around. I got these uh, South American noodles right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put these noodles into my uh, pot over here. Let me just show you guys. Just crushing them up like that. Let's see if we're gonna have anybody coming in here today. Yeah, there we go. There's somebody coming in. As you guys might be able to see, I'm putting these noodles in right now. I'm cooking in uh, a, hey Howard. Hey man, what's up man? Guess what? I'm cooking me a stew out here. And uh, you wanna give a wild guess on a guess what we got in it? We got some chicken gizzards in it. <laughs> I know, I gotta break up these uh, these noodles here. Probably should have done it already in advance, but who cares, right? Hey, let's go. <laughs> let's eat, yeah. No kidding. All right, now I gotta break up these guys here. I know, uh, hey, Tom Lawton has made it into the house. Yeah, I know it's gonna be a little bit of work, but who cares? I got to do this. I'm going to have to walk back and forth a dozen times, but whatever. Let me see if I can possibly set up the camera like this. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to work, but I'm going to attempt it anyways. Now that, that's not working the way I wanted it. Um, nope, that ain't going to work. Let me see. Maybe I can set it up like this. How about that? See if we can... No, that nothing wants to work, eh? Oh, come on. Oh, jeez. This ain't working the way I wanted it, guys. But, so I guess I'm going to have to continuously do this manually. But here we go. Put some more noodles in there. Let me turn, turn you guys around. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Tommy. Feed. Feed. Feel free. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Uh. Trucking Review has made it into the show. Hey guys, we're just waiting for uh, this stuff to uh, finish cooking here. I'm going to uh, put all the noodles in. Can you guys see that? The sun is trying to set over there. I'm just trying to put all these noodles in here. And then once all of that is cooked, we're gonna show you guys a magic trick that I uh, have shown you guys on my channel before, but uh, it's been a while since I did it, and I figured this would be a perfect fitting for uh, for me to do when I'm doing a uh, outdoor thing, right? So why not? I, I'm gonna have the wife come out here in a little bit, and then uh, she's gonna hold the camera, and I'm going to do this live for the first time ever. I'm going to uh, show you guys on uh, once. Uh... Hey, hey, Walter, look at this. I'm cooking a stew, man. You're not inviting me, so I gotta cook a stew. So for the first time, I'm gonna do this live. Once this is done cooking, you guys see it's on a fire, right? I'm gonna lift up that pot, and the wife is gonna hold the camera, and I'm gonna put my hand underneath the pot just after I take it off there. So I'm hoping you guys will like that. So that way I figured I'd do it live. That way uh, you guys will know that there is no fancy editing done to it, right? So that is the uh, the goal in doing that. So I think we finally got all the noodles in there. So that should take about 10, 15 minutes till that's done cooking. And then uh, we're gonna do this. What I told you guys what we're gonna do. Hopefully my, uh, my battery will hold up. <laughs> hey, 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 Trucker Jukebox has made it into the house. Say hi to him, everybody. Uh, I know, <laughs> I know the trick. Yeah, I know, Walter, you know the trick, but not everybody else knows the trick, eh? My son is coming home finally. He's late, late coming home from school, I guess, but I gotta put this back in the house. And then, uh, hey, look, look who's here, yeah. 18 of you guys, how many thumbs up you guys are gonna give me today? I don't know, I'm gonna, this might fog up a little bit, we'll see. Hi, Diego. Hi. I'm doing a live show. Hi. Uh-huh, I know, right? Jesse, 
what are you doing? You, oh, oh my goodness, you guys know what that is? That is a cake. The wife is cooking a cake. She's heating up some chocolate right there. Ooh, Angie and Chuck have made it in. You want to say hi to Carla, Jesse? Yeah, you want to say hi to Carla? I know you're coughing a little bit, but hey, how's it going there, young lady? Huh? Yeah, you want to say hi to everybody? Yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at this. Wife is setting up the table. She's already got a salad. Can you see my post? Yes, Ike, I can, definitely. Uh, I might have missed your uh, original comment, but yes, I can definitely see your comments, man. Oh, yeah. Here's the wife. You want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> yeah, there we go. You're going to come outside in a little bit, and then... A uh, couple of minutes. Yeah. We're going to show you this life, how we do this. And I finally got my van back. It's been in the shop for a, for a good little while. And uh, we finally got her back. But uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're gonna cook us a very nice stew here. Oh, we are already halfway done with it. Uh, the Trucker John Show. Hey, hey, everybody. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. I'm having me an awesome day. Now I can't look at the time. Can you guys maybe tell me on the screen what time it is? So that way, I usually cook these noodles for about 15 minutes. Oh, I see 427 over there. Walter says, hey, Tom, how's it going? Yeah, I know. I know Tom from Florida, he wants to come over here. And I told him yesterday, uh, I said, uh, yeah, 327, there we go. I told him, I said, uh, today would actually be a perfect day to come over here because, uh, it's nice and chilly out here. It was only minus 27 this morning. And with the windshield, it was uh, minus 30 or 35 or something like that. I see we got 12 thumbs up over there. Ooh, that's nice. I'm hoping the Wi-Fi will be strong enough in the back here so I can continuously uh, do this live show. As you guys can see, we don't really have a whole heck of a lot of snow. Let me see if I can turn this around and uh, show you guys a little bit. Yeah, you see the sun is trying to set over there. And then, uh, yeah, no wonder the birds ran away. <laughs> I know, right? We were talking about it earlier, me and Trucking Review, about possibly doing something with uh, maybe a bird feeder or something like that. JBW Vlogs has made it in. Yes, I appreciate that. Anyways, we're talking about doing maybe a life feed or something like that. But I said, uh, there's not really that... Uh, that many birds out here in winter, right? Because it's so cold. But I will show you guys a couple of bird feeders. I'm just gonna, you know, turn this a little bit so it doesn't stick to the bottom. But I don't think we need to add any more uh, fire to it. Let me sure. Let me show you guys can. No hell. <laughs> yeah. Well. Anyways, we had a good barbecue yesterday. My buddy Ronnie was over here, and uh, I'm gonna show you guys. Let me turn this around. We got one bird feeder right here. That one is currently empty. And then I do have another one on the front. Let me see if I can show you guys this one. So uh, you, guys, you guys will let me know once 15 minutes is up, right? It was 327, somebody said. So uh, once 15 minutes is up, you guys will let me know, right? So that way I know my uh, noodles are done. But I mean, I can taste them too, but Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can show you guys. Yeah, right here on the front of my house. Let me see. Oh, <laughs> look at that. I got my bird feeder sit, sat right up over here so I can sit in the living room right there and then constantly have a good look at them. They kind of make a little bit of a mess when you look at it, but that's, that's wildlife for you, right? 15 minutes are over. No, Walter, it's not. You're lying. You're a lying son of a gun. <laughs> yeah. I know, you're just jealous, Walter, that you are not over here and uh, cooking the stew with me, right? That's probably what it is. But anyways, my fingers are getting cold. There was a bird accident on Interstate 55. 
<laughs> all right, all right. That wouldn't surprise me. Take off your stew 15 minutes, Walter. Walter, here's one for you. <laughs> not yet, buddy, not yet. I know you want to see the trick, but uh, we're not quite there yet. I figured I, uh, I would start the live stream here a little bit in advance. So that way, uh, you know, get a few people in here and uh, get you guys curious on what we're doing. And uh, uh, I was talking to Trucking Review earlier and I was telling him about the trick and he's like, how the heck do you do that? I said, well, all comes down to physics a little bit. And uh, yeah, so uh, we're definitely gonna try this. We got 17 of you guys, hey, that is awesome. Who's all in the house? Now, since I got the noodles in there, maybe we can start reading some comments, right? I'd like to stay a little bit close to the fire though. Kind of try and stay a little warm, right? <laughs> I really miss talking to you and watching your videos. I have just been busy trucking. Yeah, I hear you. Trucking can definitely be busy. I've been pretty busy myself. I was going to try and get a load out tomorrow. Right now, they didn't have anything yet. I don't know what's going on with the market, but it feels like it's a little bit slow lately. I don't seem to understand it, or I don't know what the reasoning for it is, but it feels like it's a little bit slow, I guess, in the trucking industry. But that's life, right? That's just life. That's how it goes, but yeah. So how many of you guys think that I'm going to burn my fingers or my hand while I'm doing this, uh, holding the pot like with my hand like this, while it just came off of the fire. Leave a comment right now, especially if you're watching this afterwards, after a fact, right? How many of you guys think that I'm actually going to burn my hand? I would love to see the comments. I know Walter, he knows the trick, but uh, you know, not, not everybody knows this, right? But let me reiterate, or let me say, do not try this at home. Uh, consult a uh, professional like me before you consider doing something like this. Don't burn it off. <laughs> I got a hand of steel, right? So don't mess with me. <laughs> yep. So Walter, is it 15 minutes yet or what? Are you gonna continue lying to me? Walter, throw a pig on the... Yeah, I know, Walter, he likes throwing a big pig up there and then... Uh, you know, cooking a nice barbecue. I know, tell me about it. He just hasn't invited me lately. It may go viral. <laughs> that would be nice. I mean, I've shown it before and it never did go viral. So uh, you never know. Rudy won't burn his hand. I know Howard has seen this trick before on my channel here, but not everybody has, right? And I thought, you know what? This would be something really nice to do on an outdoor adventure show, right? And... Uh, no, not yet. I'm not sure what Jupox is ask, uh, saying about not yet. Maybe somebody asked him a question. Are you loud? Uh, all right. Let me do a little taste test here. Let me show you guys. We got a few noodles on here. It's a good way to find out if they're done. Not quite yet. A professional cook doesn't need a timer, right? He just needs to taste it. And he can tell you whether or not it's done or not. I'm just kind of hoping the sun won't go down before uh, we get this all done. I have to throw a big barbecue again soon. I know, Walter, right? We got to do it soon. I think all of us are going to have to get together pretty soon and maybe uh, roast a nice big pig or something like that for, uh, for Christmas. I think that would be kind of fun to do, right, Walter? What do you think? Good idea or what? Get all of us together and then uh, roast a nice big pig and have a nice uh, Christmas party together, right? That would be fun. I know Walter just came back from Paraguay, so he had a, he had a nice visit over there. If you take it 15 minutes, I said not yet. Oh, I see, okay, no problem, there we go. What do you want for Christmas? What do I want for Christmas? Well, number one, I want to be home with my family. Ah, oh, we got smoke in my eyes. I want to be home with the family. That is number one. 
and uh, well I guess my second wish would be uh, to hang out with you guys that would be my uh, my Christmas wish come true I love hanging out with all my subscribers and uh, it's a lot of fun uh, getting together with you guys and uh, it would be fun if we could get together and have a nice bur uh, a Christmas uh, barbecue or something like that right I want your videos back yeah I know I would love that too I would love that too uh, but unfortunately that can't happen but how many of you guys are ready to see my trick let me know I can't wait to show you guys it's been a while since I did it and uh, I'm not nervous at all not at all no way that would be really great if we could meet up yes that would be and I know Ike you like uh, you like shooting guns and stuff like that I was telling uh, Chupax the other day I said uh, I'm kind of into guns myself I I need to get my gun license up here in Canada in South America I had guns but I don't have any out here and um, but I would love to get my uh, get my uh, gun license and uh, maybe do some hunting you know I was telling him I said that might be a good uh, twist to my uh, outdoor vlogs right that might might actually work hey we got 25 of you guys tuned in now my wife is coming to check on things she's gonna probably uh, she's gonna help me here with the whole spiel she knows what time it is almost time yeah then you can't see it then you got to turn it around then you got to read the comments let me turn it around there we go now you can turn it around and see okay there you there go, go. Let me do, a, do a little bit of a quick quick test here and see how it is Ooh, look at that uh-huh i know it's starting to get dark out here but hmm well we're getting close we're getting close Engine Chuck, don't burn your hand. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I don't think I to it, but you guys see, I got nothing in my sleeve, right? And I got nothing in my hand, and I'll be doing that with this hand because I'm right handed. Yes, indeed. But you don't have to wait much longer, guys. A few more minutes, probably about four minutes, five minutes at the most, and we will be good to go. So let, uh, let Alfreda know what the time is we said earlier it was 327 i guess that's eastern time it was 427 our time so let me know what time it is i know i was joking earlier i said uh, a, a true cook knows when the noodles are done right and that is what i am saying so but i kind of still like to go by time hi howard how are you yeah there we go Ugh. did you show them the nice sunset I showed him a little bit. It's beautiful. Uh, yeah. Look at that. Kind of disappearing. It's not quite as beautiful as it was earlier, but nice. nice. Very nice. Yeah. Let's see. I'm pretty sure. I think we're getting there. It's 440 Central Time. 440 Central, eh? So that is uh, 13 minutes. So we got to wait probably. Probably about another four or five minutes and then we will be definitely good to go maybe you can tell them a story <laughs> you don't know any stories beautiful moon look at that look at the nice moon you can see it let me see yeah. if I, we can't find it nobody can see it uh -huh. it's behind the trees oh yeah it's coming almost <laughs> there's the moon you see it yeah right there Who donated who is that? Uh, I don't know. We'll check later. Yeah. yeah. Let's see here. Let's see here. We can actually do this. Somebody donated. I wonder who that was. Chuck and oh, Angie. Angie and Chuck did that. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah how cold is it actually? Did you tell them how cold it is? Um, I kind of told them what it was this morning, but I don't know what it is actually right now. Maybe you can look it up on your phone and uh, maybe you can tell them. Maybe you can tell them. Mine, like, minus 23, so. Minus 23, eh? It's not bad yet. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. But I think we're ready. For those of you guys that are wondering <clears throat> what we're cooking, if you're tuning in, we got some.
Chicken gizzards, right? Do we have beef meat in there? I, I, love, I like it mixed. Beef, yeah. beef so, and, and gizzards mixed. Yeah, so we got beef and uh, gizzards, chicken gizzards, and onions, garlic, green peppers, right? Red yeah. peppers, and a little bit, a few uh, potato pieces, right? Yeah. Cut up, anyways. And then uh, tomato sauce. Paste. Uh, tomato paste, yeah. And then uh, <clears throat> noodles. I showed you guys those ones. Those are South American noodles. But. Uh, I think we're ready to go here, so... Yeah, and I put some of the South American spice stuff in there. Oh, okay, cool. Yep, so... Alright, are you guys Should ready? be good. Are you guys ready? <laughs> Give me a big thumbs up if you guys are. I'm going to grab the pot with this from the top, but on the bottom I'll be able to hold it. So... Uh, let's see in there. Yeah. You guys see, we're not doing any kind of trick. Showing my hand before, right? So, <clears throat> let's turn around that way. And let's do this, guys. Life right here. You guys looking at it? There we go. <laughs> yeah. So let's go inside and let's put the uh, stew in the, uh, in the pot, right? And, uh, there we go. Uh, there Have a nice supper. Have a nice supper. Yeah. Delicious supper. That's for sure. Anyways. I didn't burn my hand, right? It's all black. It's all black, yeah. But other than that, we're good to go. So, switch this around if I can. There we go. So, how many of you guys want to try this one day? <laughs> uh, yeah, now I got to go wash my hand. Anyways, let's go see uh, if everybody is ready for supper. I got the, uh, yeah, this is going to probably fog up. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I do appreciate you guys watching and uh, we will see you guys on the next one. So have a great day.